So one of the best parts of Devour, the Food Film Festival, is learning from some of the world's leading culinary experts. And I've got one of them right here with me. This year, uh, we've got TV host and self-described self professional gastronaut, Bob Bloomer, uh, teaching fans how to prevent food waste. So welcome. Hi. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you. Uh, first of all, how do we do zero food waste? How does that happen? Well, I've been an ambassador for the last year for Love Food, Hate Waste, which is a national Canadian uh, zero waste initiative. And uh, so talking about how to prevent food waste at home, because a third of all the food that's produced is wasted somewhere in the pipeline. Sometimes it's at the farm, sometimes it's in the pipeline, sometimes it's in the home. Uh, but of that third, a third of that is actually wasted in the home. And that's really people, you know, not being proactive about uh, planning their weekly menu mm -hmm. and food goes bad, not being creative about how they use their ingredients at the end of the week as they're turning. And, um, and it's very simple. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's hard for all of us to save the polar bears, but when it comes to reducing your, the amount of waste that you, you know, things you throw out at home, um, we're hundred percent in control of that. Mm. And that's quite an unusual situation because most things are out of our control. It's very doable. It how, did, how did you get involved in this and interested in this cause? Um, well, it's really, it's about three things. It's about being a little proactive, it's about being creative, and it's about being frugal. And Canadians have all of those <laughs> qualities. qualities and, I have, and I have those qualities. And I, so I love to come up with creative ways to use all sorts of, of ingredients that are on their way out. And you know, what we do is often we'll throw them in the green bin and we'll pat ourselves on the shoulder and say, I've done my job. That's what I do. So you're telling me but that's not no, enough? No, I'm sorry. It used to be enough. It's not enough anymore. Okay. Got to change my habits. I love all those qualities you mentioned. Just add in a sorry, and you've covered all Canadians right there. <laughs> so you're leading a workshop on zero food waste, and one of the things you're teaching people who come, like literally right after this interview, is to make a garbage pizza. Well, and that sounds super appetizing. <laughs> so I want you to tell me, what it, what is this? Well, I do. Actually, to make my point, I empty a kitchen garbage bag onto the table, and I forge through it. Of course, it's a well-curated kitchen garbage bag. Of course. But... Um, you know, you can make a pizza crust out of some, uh, some cauliflower and potatoes that are going off. You can make a pesto. So pesto usually has basil, pine nuts, olive oil, parmesan, and, and uh, garlic, right? So you can use tops, things you normally throw out even before you start cooking, like radish tops, fennel fronds, beet tops. Use those instead of basil. Um, you know, if you have a jar of sun-dried tomatoes yeah. and you eat all the tomatoes, there's like that much oil left in the bottom. What do you do with that? Throw it in the garbage. But that's fantastic oil. I mean, it's like, it's almost like it's better oil than, than your conventional oil because it's, it's got, got the, the beautiful flavor. flavor. Right. Yeah. You can use that on bruschetta and salad dressings or for your pesto. Um, instead of pine nuts, if you use, you know, you, you get to the end of a jar of peanut butter and it doesn't look like there's enough in there to do anything with, so you just throw it out. But there's always enough at the bottom to get a couple of tablespoons, use that instead of the pine nuts. It goes on and on. So everything that you're about to throw out, you should stop and think about how you could repurpose it. I love this. I, I'm truly, like with the peanut butter, you know that like you just got to get in there with a the spatula totally. and yeah. all of that flavor can be repurposed. I'm you, creativity and frugality. That's okay. all you need. So Bob, number one tip for people at home who can't come to your workshop, number one tip that they're going to take away, what is it? It's proactive, think about what you're going to buy and how you're going to use it during the week. And then it's just before you go to throw anything out into the green bin of the garbage, think how could I, what would Bob Bloomer do to repurpose this? What there you would go. Bob Bloomer do? What, what would WWBBD? WWBBD, that's what you need to remember. Bob, <laughs> thank you so much for it's coming. It's a pleasure. Down. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.